Its first history is that we know of is that it was found in Rome. How it got to Rome is not at all certain. Well, it was an amazing process because the, you know, the lion is really big and it's three and a half tons. So to get it into the Getty Villa building what took quite an um, elaborate operation of craning it in and then moving it very carefully. This is the first time in, you know, call it 2,000 years that this object has ever left Rome. And many people don't realize that before the famous wolf suckling the two twins, Romulus and Remus, was the symbol of Rome and still is, the lion was already a symbol for a good century before that. The actual horse head, its, its legs and the rear legs of the lion were restored in the Renaissance by a student of Michelangelo. Michelangelo loved this work. He called it in one of the uh, written sources that we have in Italian, meravigliosissimo, marvelous, very marvelous. We decided to install the lion attacking a horse sculpture in the atrium of the villa. This is the first space that the visitors enter and it's a very dramatic space. The sculpture is so big and it is so heavy that it was really not possible to find a place for it in any of the normal galleries. To look closely at a single work of art and to consider it from different points of view, the historical, the aesthetic, the art historical. So this is a, a wonderful chance to really consider from very many different points of view what a single work of art can tell us about the culture it comes from.